if the garbage truck can hurry up and go by, stop making noise, try to film. Hi there. Today I'm going to do my September wrap up. Uh, it's going to be pretty quick. I finished five things and uh, four of them were audiobooks. So, you know. Um, so the first two things I finished were book three and four in the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentro, and that is Opal and Origin. I gave them both four stars. I gave the Third book in the series that I finished in August, I gave that three stars. I thought that was kind of the low point of the series, and then it kind of got better again after that. So, yeah. Um, I gave books three and books four, four stars. And actually, I guess I'll just lump the fifth one in there, too. I read the fifth book in that series, Opposition, that finished the series. I also gave that one four stars. Overall, I gave the series probably four stars, because four of the five books got four stars. Um... It is a young adult, I call it paranormal um, romance. Well, it is paranormal. I get, well, I don't know if it really is paranormal. Is it? Are aliens paranormal? I'm a horrible booktuber. I don't even know. But it's a young adult romance. Um, it involves aliens and a human girl, of course. And yeah, it was... It was well done, I think. The second book kind of dragged. It's the same, and there was a little bit of the same thing that happened in her other book that I read, White Hot Kiss. They're not super old, but I feel like some of the things that she, like, had the characters do and say wouldn't really fly in, like, a current novel. Like, something written in 2019, I feel like it wouldn't really fly as well. Um... But overall, it was a really entertaining story. I finished three of them this month, or in September, so yeah, that was good. And then the fourth audiobook I listened to was Sprinkle with Murder by Jen McKinley. I gave that four stars. It's a cozy mystery. Um, a woman, it's about a woman who owns a cupcake shop, and her best male friend is getting married, and his bridezilla wants them to do or wants the main character's little cupcake shop to do the cupcakes for their wedding. But again, she's a bridezilla. She's making all kinds of crazy demands. So um, our main character, I don't remember her name, Mel, Mel, makes her sample cupcakes. And then she eats the cupcakes and dies. So obviously our main character is you know, a suspect in the murder of this woman. And it's a cozy mystery. So obviously she takes it upon herself to kind of figure out who did it. And yeah, it was really cute. I personally love cozy mysteries. I find the fall is like the perfect time for cozy mysteries. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. That was my first one of the, the season. And I really liked it. So I would recommend it if you like cozy mysteries. Um, and then the last thing that I finished on the very last day of the month, is Snow Lake Ashes by Sarah Rosh. Sarah? I don't know how to say my own name. This book was a three-star book for me. Uh, I like the concept behind it, and I thought, like, it started out really strong, but then it just kind of dragged, and I didn't really find myself excited to pick it up, really. So, yeah, it was it was fine. Like, I would recommend it if you like young adult fantasy. Um, but, yeah, it was just okay. Um, it's about a girl named Mera or Mira, and she's part of the Kingdom of Winter that was taken over by Spring. I almost said Autumn, but it wasn't Autumn, it was Spring. And they were, like, all the members of the entire kingdom were either killed or enslaved, and only 25 of them got away. And Mira is one of them. Um, and it just follows them as they're trying to get their kingdom back, trying to free their their people. Um, and yeah, it was it was an interesting concept. Like the, the kingdoms are seasons and rhythms, so they're like named after like all the seasons and stuff. Um, it was cute. I guess she wrote it when she was like 
12 or 15 or something. So, and I mean, I'm not going to say you can tell, but you can, you can kind of tell. Um, some of the like aspects of the story weren't really fleshed out. Some things kind of jumped and you're just kind of like, yeah, that's unrealistic even for a fantasy novel. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was fine. I didn't mind it. I thought it, and like it ended cute, whatever. Um, but I don't see myself continuing on with the series. So yeah, this was a three star book for me. So that was quick. That's all I actually finished in September. Um, I am going to give a couple of honorable mentions, if you will. I read over 200 pages of Gardens of the Moon. I'm going to count that in this wrap up um, just because that is a feat of greatness because this is a very, very dense fantasy book and I was doing a read along with it. I ended up falling behind. I did end up putting it down, um, but I have every intention to finish it just at my own pace instead of trying to keep up with a group that's reading it. So yeah, I read over 200 pages of Gardens of the Moon and I also finished about 60% of The Lies of Locke Lamora on audiobook. So I'm going to count that too because I'm almost done with that. I'm going to finish it probably this week. Today is October 1st and it'll probably be done by the end of this week and I will pick up Red Seas Under Red Skies. And I also have the second book in this series on my TBR for October. So if I finish this, I'm going to go right into the next one. So yeah, that was everything that I read in September. Um, lots of audiobooks, and then these. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!